गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज वृशाली इन माई लास्ट लेक्चर्स वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट रिस्क वर्सेज रिस्क आर्किटेक्चर विथ एग्जाम्पल एंड वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सम प्रीवियस यूनिट पॉइंट विथ प्रैक्टिकल डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन आई हैव मेन्शन कंप्लीट प्रोसेसर आर्किटेक्चर प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज ए आर एम प्रोसेसर सो लेट सी we will discuss following points in this session that is introduction about arm processor their applications arm versions features advantages and disadvantages of arm processor so let's see one by one the first point is about arm processor so basically arm processor is a family of central processing unit that is cpu we heard about different processors like intel pentium so ARM is also one kind of processor. ARM processor was developed by Acron Computers in 1983. And ARM stands for Advanced Risk Machine. So this ARM architecture or processing power of ARM was developed by this Advanced Risk Machine. And that's the reason ARM is based on risk architecture. That is reduced instruction set computer architecture. we already discussed risk versus risk architecture in last session okay so generally this arm processor used in different mobiles tablets then different wearable devices or any other electronics devices because arm having very small size and this perfectly fit any other small size of devices arm needs very few instruction set and transistors arm having less power consumption that's why it provides better battery life to other electronics devices and arm supports 32 bit devices and 32 bit operating systems so this is just introduction about arm processor now the next point is applications of arm processor so as we discussed arm processor used in many electronics devices like music players smartphones wearable devices tablets then a digital television set up box then a uh, different systems like hard drive inkjet printers gps navigation systems so arm also architecture implemented on different operating system it supports windows unix then other operating systems like apple ios android solaris web os gnu linux so arm application supports this all kind of operating system so just focus here in this uh, image there is arm processor so arm processor provide touch screen and sensor then camera then a cellular modem wifi sim options are there then a apps processor bluetooth gps sensor so this kind of all functionalities are provided by this arm processor so that's why they generally used in different electronics devices now the next point is arm versions so basically arm versions means ARM processor was developed by step by step it first developed in 1983 that is ARM1 this was the first implementation so at that time this processor uh, having the features like only arithmetic operations now after ARM1 that is ARM2 ARM3 ARM6 this all kind of processors are developed step by step and this processor having the features of previous arm processor and also they add some new features by their own like inheritance so arm2 having uh, just uh, this kb bytes of memory and their mips mips means million instruction per second like arm2 having swap instruction and graphics io processor these features and they having 4 to 7 million instruction per second like arm3 having memory cache functionality this is the extra functionalities there and having 4 kb and 12 million instruction per second in this way so arm 11 has 8 to 9 stage pipeline there is a enhanced dsp instructions are there and it supports 32 kb and 745 965 million instruction per second so just focus here in this two columns cache memory and million instruction per second so each and every uh, arm processor step by step they developed and they also enhance their memory capacity right now here see here in this table these are the some latest arm uh, processors like cortex m cortex r then cortex a with 32 bit so these are the some latest arm processors 
they provide this kind of memory like 64 KB, 128 KB, after that 1 MB. And this Cortex A provide 3.5 million instruction per second, right? And this Cortex A 64 bit and Cortex X, these are the latest ARM processor. They provide different features like 13 stage pipeline, different cache memory, and they support 8 MB to 4 MB to 8 MB memory with 30 to 20 million instruction per second. So these are the latest ARM processor and these are their features. You just review all these features with their memory and million instruction per second. So the latest ARM processor is Cortex A and Cortex X. Now the next point is ARM processor features. So these ARM processors having different features. That's why they mainly used in electronics devices. The first feature of ARM processor is multiprocessing system. ARM processor supports multiprocessing systems means more than, more than one processors are used to process the information. You need to perform more than one task at the same time. Next feature is tightly coupled memory. This ARM processor supports RISC architecture because they fetch all these data from the memory and perform all the operations in registers. That's why it has very fast response time. Each and every task perform within a second in your electronics devices. Next feature is Therm2 technology. So this Therm2 technology generally introduced in 2003 and the main aim of this technology is to create variable length of instruction set. Like C, ARM processor supports reduce instruction set architecture. So this RISC architecture having 32 bit instruction set only. But some latest ARM processor having 64 bit operating system support also, right? Means it extension from 32 bit to 64 bit. So this is called as Thumb 2 technology. They provide flexibility or portability for extension of different operating system. Now, the next feature of ARM processor is one cycle execution time. Like ARM processor supports this architecture means it has fixed length of instruction that is 32 bit, right? So every instructions are executed one cycle at a time, right? So it provide a clock per instruction supports means every instruction having a particular timer and particular clock cycle and that instruction are executed in within a particular second or within particular cycle as per your requirement. Next processor feature is pipelining. So this ARM processor supports three stage of pipelining. So three stage of pipelining means first this supports fetching, decode and execution this kind of steps means one instruction is execution steps, another instruction in decode state and another instruction is fetching state. Means fetching means you need to fetch the instruction from memory to register then decode the instruction, convert those instruction into the binary form and after that execute those instruction. So this all tasks are performed at the same time, right? So this is called as three stage pipelining. And because of this simultaneously task, it provides maximum throughput and is also reduce the time or save the time, right? So this is called as pipelining and this is one of the main feature of ARM processor. The next feature of ARM processor is large number of registers. Like it supports risk architecture, that's why every task is performed within the registers, right? So risk machine having large uniform register, it has total 37 registers and each 37 registers, 32 bits each, this is the size of every register. And from this 37 registers, 16 registers can be used at a time for performing different operations. Every register having data and address. So that's why it increases the execution process of whole system. Like you, in your mobile, you can perform different tasks at the same time. Like you just uh, open WhatsApp and previous, uh, previous or background mode, you just play some music, right? Means you can perform multiple tasks at the same time, right? So the next feature of ARM processor is load and store model. So load and store model, this one kind of features and this is the main feature of ARM processor. Generally, ARM processors, like we discussed, all operations take place within the register because they support risk architecture, right? 
so the working of load store model is they first fetch data from the memory like they need to perform operation 2 plus 2 right arithmetic operation so they first fetch the data from memory that is 2 plus 2 they fetch data from memory they perform this operation into the register means they perform addition operation into the register so after performing operation 2 plus 2 equal to 4 right so this 4 again stored into the memory so this is a load and store model first they load the data into the register then they perform the operation then again they store the output into the memory so this all operations perform within a second so that's why they supports load and store model so this all are the features of arm processor now the next point is advantages of arm processor so as we discussed this uh, arm processor used many electronics devices that's why the main advantage is very affordable to create it is low power consumption they work fast multiprocessing features are there and it has a better battery life load store architecture is there and mainly it has a very simple circuit and this is the reason that's why this arm processor are used in many mobiles wearable devices tablets and different electronics devices now the next point is disadvantages of arm processor like every system having their own advantages and own disadvantages right so the main disadvantages of arm processor their speeds because some oldest arm processor having low response time and now latest one having the quick response time so the oldest uh, arm processor they sometimes create a problem and uh, their scheduling instructions is difficult in arm processor because they supports only three stage pipeline only three uh, instructions are executed at a per time right because some latest processor having eight stage 10 stage pipeline is there and arm processor needs very highly skilled programmers because suppose the particular instruction not executed properly then your processors will get slower or sometimes uh, there will be a problem generated in the particular processors so these are the some disadvantages of arm processors and these disadvantages will overcome in different that is intel paytm processors so this is all about arm processor so hope so you understood about uh, arm processors their features their applications and advantages and disadvantages thank you keep learning